Libra, hi, it's Lisa here from What's the Name Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for the week of Monday, the... What is it? <laughs> I've just sat down. This is the first one I'm doing. Uh, it is the 8th to the 15th of January 2023. <clears throat> and my voice is going already. Um, these are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, any number of synchronicities that may occur, and cross watches are welcome. So um, I have got a bit of an announcement. I've put on hold the quick fire readings that I do each weekend for um, each sign. The um, between Christmas and New Year, I have had a bereavement, and I'm still dealing with that and working through that. So um, I've put them on hold because it was just all getting too much. So it's been a full-on few months, and um, but it finally came to its conclusion, if you'd put it like that. But um, I have put those readings on hold at the moment, just while I get everything back together again. But I've kept these weekly readings. I'll probably upload them all in one hit at the end of each week um, as well. It gets some time to get them through, get through them and everything. But we will begin. So Libra, 8th to the 15th of January, 2023. Please, clear messages from Spirit, please, for Libra. Oh. Overall, you've got the chariot. Love that. Could be dealing with cancer here. Things are on the move. Whether it's physically, whether it's mentally, whether it's emotionally, things are moving. Um, balancing that chariot out. Not getting the speed wobbles, I usually always say, but just um, getting things moving forward. Past energies. You had the universe. King of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. Things were pretty good back here um, in the past. You're very level-headed, very logical, able to use your head over your heart when it came to getting some sort of new venture off the ground and ready to go. And um, it was all on for this new beginning and the moment seemed to be right and pretty perfect timing. Present energies, you have the King of Wands, Seven of Swords, Queen of Swords. You know what you want, who you want, and where you want to be heading towards. This chariot's picking up the pace here. Complete different approach towards something or someone, um, possibly around the Seven of Swords in the core of your reading. Some sort of gossip and backstabbing, some sort of deceptive energy, cutting that out right at the start and getting things done. And that Queen of Swords is pretty, boom, this is how it is. Ah. <laughs> My landlady's just walking past. No, I haven't seen her go back the other way. Um, future energies, you get the star, Prince of Wands, the Emperor. Could be dealing with an Aquarius here, your dreams, your wishes, your hopes here. You have got your focus on where you're heading and ultimately you are in control of the situation. Where you're going, um, very divine masculine energy, very logical, very level-headed, very confident. You've got this sussed, you've got this sorted, and ultimately with this overall, things are on the move. Underlying reading, brilliant, love it. So overall, for the week, you get the chariots. Six of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, Six of Cups. Look at that for balance as well, especially with the Six of Pentacles. Talks about balance. Equal give and take. Always say if you're doing all the giving, someone else is doing all the taking. There's persistence here. There's not giving up. There's not quitting on getting things moving forward. Maybe dealing with something from the past, um, whether that's fond memories, whether it's not so fond memories, there is something there to do with the past. It may be a reconciliation of some sort, but I feel like it's more about moving away from the past given that you're clarifying the chariot where things are moving in a forward direction so um, but it has come with persistence here and not giving up so past energies the universe Libra nine of swords four of wands nine of cups 
Look at the balance all through here. The two nines now either side of the four of wands. Stability, commitment. Um, talking about balance there as well around stability. Maybe buying a home, maybe getting a job. It may be commitment um, as in marriage proposal, moving in together, even meeting somebody um, new here. There's love here for the taking. I always say take it with both hands and run with it. A um, bit of stress, a bit of sleepless nights, some overthinking of things, but ultimately this universe has your back and you have the stability, you have the commitment here. King of Swords. Two of Swords, Ten of Cups, Five of Swords. Feeling like you may be stuck at a crossroads situation, a bit of a stalemate situation. There is a bit of confusion here about what to do, where to go. Um, with Especially with this Five of Swords, talks about banging your head against a brick wall, some sort of battle that you are having to contend with. So a bit of confusion around what to do about that battle in the past. Um, I always say, if you walk away, that's a victory in itself. If you stay and fight, that's a victory in itself. But ultimately, using your head over your heart when it comes to a very clear logical decision along with some emotional support back there in the past possibly and um, but you were quite happy and content with um, the decision that was made in the past ace of pentacles judgment eight of wands six of swords yeah this new beginning was happening back here in the past and it was all about keeping an open mind and keeping the communication clear um, always say like listening skills when it comes to that eight of wands you know it's like what somebody's saying to you take on board what they're saying to you but vice versa they have to take on board what you are saying to them ultimately though these plans are getting underway to get things moving forward you have that chariot overall now you have the six of swords there where these initial plans are being put in place which may be the first chapter of moving forward with something someone somewhere and um, keeping an open mind as to where this journey takes you. So present energies, Libra, King of Wands. Knight of Pentacles, the Hanged Man, the High Priestess. It's taken a while to make a decision here. Feel like you may be waiting for somebody else to come in with um, their decision or making their mind up here where you're left sitting on the fence waiting. This is a bit of a waiting game. Things are taking their own sweet time. In the meantime, you're quite happy just to watch what's going on around you. You're not wanting to be involved in too much at the moment where um, you're overwhelmed with everything flooding in all at once and um, getting a bit chaotic. You're quite content to sit back and be observant, but I um, feel like there comes a point where a decision needs to be made on what's happening here. Especially as this is your present energies and you are focused on where you're heading. Seven of Swords, core of your reading now. Libra. Three of Swords, Nine of Wands, Four of Swords. Somebody's broken your heart here due to this deceptive energy. It may be a third party situation. It could be around love, it could be around work, it could be around home, but some sort of interference here that's breaking your heart. You're ready to pick up the pieces and walk away from that with your head held high and not stoop to that level. You've jumped, jumped through a lot of hoops. You've overcome a lot of obstacles to get onto solid ground. And I feel like now it's time to just step back and take a breather. Do some healing. Look after number one. Again, you're focused on where you're heading, but you're not wanting to bring um, heartbreak and third party energies into wherever that is that you are heading to and this may be that very direct approach towards something or someone um going to say to put them in their place like you're not going to put up with the crap here so queen of swords nine of pentacles the emperor strength could be dealing with aries or leo it's claiming some independence um, could be a job promotion here but it may be just that that success you can see that coming in now once this whole this queen of swords almost like clears the air like boom 
and um, being in control of the situation. It does take strength at times to take a different approach towards something or someone, especially if you have to be quite cutting about it, like, look here, this is how it is. It's what I said in the underlying reading, but being very clear with your intentions there. But um, that success, it does start to head your way. As you come to future energies with the star, it could be dealing with an Aquarius here. Five of Pentacles, Temperance, Queen of Swords. We just clarified that Queen of Swords, and again, I feel that whole direct approach, it starts to get things moving forward to warmer energy, something a lot more pleasant, just going with the flow, not forcing the issue. You know what you're focused on, your dreams, your, ho your hopes here, and um, you're not losing that focus, but you're just going with the flow and not pushing things to or quicker than they need to be going but you are starting to move forward away from this deceptive energy away from this heartbreak away from being left out in the cold and you are starting to push forward here to something a lot better so prince of wands libra nearly drop them all there seven of swords king of pentacles ace of pentacles look at those from start to finish there um or, or that success coming in and then shifting that goalpost to start some sort of new chapter here successful new chapter success that comes in all of a sudden almost overnight um abundance getting control of finances but that success may be the fact that you're able to walk away from that seven of swords energy there because that's in the core of your reading as well and I feel like being able to do that, you're now able to focus on this new beginning, on this new chapter, whatever it is that your hopes and dreams are there, and get this off the ground and happening. Love that. And you finish with the Emperor, Libra. Ace of Cups, Three of Pentacles, Three of Wands. New chapter, definitely a new chapter happening down here, and it may be around love, could be a job you love, could be home you love, it may be love, love, existing relationships, somebody brand new, there may be a pregnancy or birth involved here, but there is working together, there's a collaboration happening here, and you're able to see the bigger picture, see very clearly where you're going, clear intentions are out on the table here, and ultimately you are in control of the situation, brilliant love the reading so Libra let's <laughs> let's try that again take two let's see what the universe says three cards please Libra the fall ace of cups the lovers wow all right then somebody's ready to take a leap of faith here whether that's you whether that's them whether it's the two of you and maybe try for a baby this ace of cups is um, appearing again it could be a brand new love it could be an existing relationship it could be dealing with a gemini soulmate twin flame somebody significant two souls that are coming together and connecting and getting some sort of new chapter off the ground but it is taking a bit of a leap of faith to get this moving and happening. Love this though, Libra. <coughs> we finished with Open to Spirit Oracle. Be all in. Give life everything you've got love that be all in absolutely with this fall from the universe jumping in and giving it everything you've got immerse yourself in life be all in and not half-hearted about your goals and dreams with the curiosity of a child dive into an experience that offers you passion and joy hello <laughs> live fully love generously Gift yourself permission to be happy. Happiness and enthusiasm lift your vibration, bringing the spirit world closer to you. Your spiritual guides and loved ones rejoice when you finally embrace your life. Love the picture too, if you can see that there. So that is what I have, Libra. Do hope it helped. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. See ya. Bye.